Welcome to Deep Dive Defense, military and aerospace enthusiasts. Over here we give rare insights you won't hear elsewhere. Today's topic is the somewhat controversial unveiling of Iran's Shahid Bahman Bagheri drone carrier, developed by the IRGC Navy. The Shahid Bagheri carrier was constructed by converting a civilian container vessel into a drone carrier, equipped with a ski jump takeoff and landing platform. This unconventional approach has raised many questions about why Iran would pursue such a concept. The reasons and details behind this decision are complex and not as simplistic and straightforward as they might initially appear. For instance, while the lack of technical capability to build a military-grade drone carrier from scratch might seem like the simplest explanation for the creation of the Shahid Bagheri, this explanation alone is insufficient without considering other factors. In general, the vulnerability of the traditional aircraft carrier concept has become increasingly apparent with the advent of advanced missile technologies, particularly long-range anti-ship ballistic missiles. This fragility has been evident since at least the Gaza conflict in late 2023, with the deployment of U.S. carrier groups to the Red Sea to counter the shipping blockade imposed by Yemen's Ansarullah against Israel. Not only were these efforts unsuccessful in breaking the blockade, but the defensive operations against Yemen's Iranian-made guided weapons also forced the U.S. Navy to expend a massive number of high-end air defense and missile defense interceptors. During this campaign, approximately 400 expensive naval surface-to-air and missile defense interceptors, like the SM-6, were spent, underscoring the significant threat posed by Iranian missile systems. The threat was so severe that U.S. aircraft carriers had to maintain a distance of several hundred kilometers from Yemen to avoid entering the engagement range of Iranian-made Yemeni missiles. Iran's primary adversary in the Persian Gulf is the U.S. Navy, which boasts the largest naval fleet in the world. If the IRGC Navy attempted to challenge this vastly superior force using symmetric means, it would inevitably fail. As a result, all concepts pursued by the IRGC Navy are asymmetric in nature, and the Shahid Bagheri drone carrier exemplifies this approach. It leverages the advantages that a drone carrier can provide, even for an asymmetric force. To illustrate this, Consider a hypothetical scenario in which the Shahid Bagheri carrier had been available to Iran before the Yemeni blockade of Israeli-affiliated ships began in late 2023. In this scenario, the drone carrier could have been stationed in the northern Arabian Sea, using long-endurance male-type drones to continuously surveil regional waters and identify potential targets and threats for Yemen's Ansarullah and their missile and one-way attack drone. While this would be a peacetime mission, the drone carrier would be supported by the IRGC's Aerospace Force long-range anti-ship ballistic missiles, ensuring its safety. If a superior force were to attack the relatively exposed drone carrier during its surveillance mission, it would risk being neutralized by these long-range missiles, safely launched from Iranian soil. A second scenario involves a low-intensity conflict with an adversary lacking powerful long-range anti-ship weaponry. In this case, the Shahid Bagheri carrier would maintain a significant distance from the opponent's shores, say, 200 to 300 kilometers, and deploy its male-type combat drones, such as the Mojahir-6, to strike targets using miniature guided bombs or multi-purpose guided missiles, like the Almas, for cases where standoff distance is required. This concept enables low-cost, long-range operations with precision-guided weapons and real-time targeting a valuable capability for a naval force aiming to project power over hundreds or even thousands of kilometers. The Shahid Bagheri carrier would operate alongside a small escort of two or more Shahid Soleimani-class air defense catamarans to provide protection against the adversary's air power. Even without such escort protection, the Shahid Bagheri carrier is equipped with notable self-defense measures against drones and subsonic anti-ship cruise missiles. At its stern, it features two relatively low-end but still useful 20mm Gatling close-in weapon systems for last-ditch defense. It also has eight onboard Khauzar, 222 multi-purpose, short-range anti-air and anti-surface missiles. These missiles can engage small surface targets, subsonic drones and missiles, as well as helicopters and even aircraft. The Khausar 222 benefits from an inertial guidance system and comparatively long range, allowing it to be launched based on target coordinates and flight predictions provided by offboard sensors. The missile uses its inertial navigation system to reach the target area, where it activates its imaging infrared seeker, 
to autonomously acquire and home in on the target. The Khauzar-222 is a critical component of the Shahid Bagheri's defense system. This is because the carrier can transport up to 30 fast attack boats, each equipped with four Khauzar-222 missiles. These boats can be positioned tens or even hundreds of kilometers around the Shahid Bagheri, armed with their own short-range radars and communication links to off-board higher-performance detection radars. These small boats can launch their missiles in launch on remote mode, using target coordinates and predictions provided by the Shahid Bagheri or Soleimani radars, or their own local short-range radars. This setup addresses the challenges of sea horizon and line-of-sight limitations that naval vessels face when defending against incoming low-altitude targets. Therefore, the protection the Shahid Bagheri offers on its own, with more than 100 locally dispersed Khausar-222 missiles, provides it with a formidable defensive capability against adversaries lacking high-end supersonic missiles, capable of reaching the carrier when it operates from rear positions hundreds of kilometers away from the shore. In the third scenario, we examine a high-end conflict involving a highly capable adversary, such as the United States Navy. In this scenario, the Shahid Bagheri carrier would be part of a battle group consisting of between three to six Shahid Soleimani-class catamarans, equipped for air defense mission, and a Shahid Mahdavi-class arsenal ship. The Shahid Mahdavi is based on the same container vessel as the Shahid Bagheri carrier, but is utilized as a platform for ballistic missiles and anti-ship ballistic missiles. For example, it can carry the Zulfagar e Basir, a supersonic ballistic missile with a range of 750 kilometers or more, capable of striking high-end adversary vessels. These anti-ship ballistic missiles are housed in pairs within standard shipping containers, and the Shahid Madavi class can carry approximately 50 such high-performance weapons. Additionally, the ship is equipped with around 18 20 mm low-end Gatling close-in weapon systems. These provide it with significant anti-aircraft artillery firepower due to the sheer number of these systems distributed around the vessel, with the fire rate of six US Phalanx CIWS of the same caliber. Hence, when operating in close proximity to the Shahid Bagheri carrier and positioned toward the threat, the battle group would possess a robust, last-ditch self-defense capability, primarily against subsonic threats. In this high-end scenario, the battle group would operate in the northern Indian Ocean, primarily to detect and track over-the-horizon targets, such as U.S. Navy carrier groups approaching the Middle East region. Here, Dozens of long-endurance surveillance drones, like the Mohair 6 or more advanced ones like Mayer 10, would be deployed to assigned regional airspace stations for many hours to detect incoming adversary vessels. Once a target is detected, the Shahid Madavi arsenal ship can launch long-range anti-ship ballistic missiles toward the target coordinate last reported. The 30 or more fast attack boats surrounding the Shahid battle group would scramble and disperse around the fleet to intercept incoming subsonic threats, while the Shahid Soleimani-class catamarans, equipped with their powerful AISA air defense radars, would surveil the airspace around the fleet well beyond 100 kilometers. These catamarans would use 25-kilometer range Navab air defense missiles against incoming supersonic threats, as well as the Sayad 3F vertically launched long-range missile, with a range of up to 120 kilometers to engage high-altitude supersonic targets and anti-ship ballistic missiles attempting to strike the ships. In summary, such a battle group would possess dozens of Sayyad 3F surface-to-air missiles and missile defense interceptors, with a 120-kilometer range as its high-end defense assets. The next layer would be 25-kilometer range Navab SAMs to counter incoming supersonic threats like cruise missiles and fighter jets. Then, more than 100 widely dispersed Khauzar, two, two, two short-range surface-to-air missiles to engage subsonic threats, and finally, over two dozen 20mm Gatling close-in weapon systems serving as the final layer of defense, which also protect the fleet against unmanned surface drones and boats. By all measures, this capability is formidable, even on a global scale, and serves as an excellent example of how asymmetric approaches can yield high-capability outcomes. Additionally, the fleet can be equipped with unmanned subsurface drones to provide defense against subsurface targets and even torpedoes, further enhancing the fleet's survivability. Only within this broader context does the usefulness of the Shahid Bagheri carrier become fully apparent. The low-cost design of the ship allows the IRGC Navy to build a considerable fleet of these vessels, 
and combine them with the Shahid Mahdavi arsenal ship. A relatively large quantity of such assets is necessary to make a significant impact in a complex conflict scenario. Any capability significantly beyond this would strain the resources of a comparatively small force like the IRGC Navy or result in insignificant available numbers. This unusual approach also represents a low-risk method for developing Iran's carrier capabilities, providing valuable lessons learned and best practices for future designs and advancements in this field. The concept has vast growth potential, as evidenced by developments like the even more controversial Quahair 313 combat drone, a jet-powered unmanned aircraft, which will be the topic of a separate discussion. Therefore, the Shahid Bagheri is far from a mere propaganda stunt. It is not only significantly increasing the IRGC Navy's capabilities, but also serves as a stepping stone for its future asymmetric developments. So that's all for today. If you liked it, give a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. It really makes a difference in the YouTube algorithm and is a great support to the channel. The real enthusiast can become members and given access to exciting membership area material. Thanks for your support and motivation. See you next time.